All right, we're at the Barnsdale Park, the Barnsdale Art Park. We're going to go to the Municipal Art Gallery where they have a fabulous collection and I think you'll really enjoy it. And so let's go take a look. Okay, and here is the art gallery. This is the entrance. It's a really nice building. It's reminiscent of the Frank Lloyd Wright architecture on the whole grounds. And this exhibit is called Unnatural. It's March 8th to May 6th, 2012. I don't know if you can see the sign in there, but it's really a nice gallery, and we're gonna see some fantastic artwork. And a series of flower paintings by Lawrence Yoon. Very detailed, but they're covered in glass, so it's difficult to photograph them without reflections. And these are two more by Lawrence Yoon. And they're watercolor. And they really have bright colors for watercolor, bright, saturated, strong colors. And they're called Guarded Delight, Garden Delight, the Bearded Iris, and the Cosmo and Lilac. And he has a whole series of these that are all equally well done. And here's two more watercolors on paper. And if I shoot two at once, then I can put my reflection in the space between the paintings. And you can see the paintings without reflection. And again, very saturated, bold colors for watercolor. This painting by Lawrence Yoon is called Las Vegas, Tutti Frutti. I don't know why, but it's still kind of nice. He really has a detailed, precise technique. And this painting by Lawrence Yoon is called Las Vegas, Pink Lady. And that's watercolor on paper. Very striking. And this painting by Lawrence Yoon is called Las Vegas Sunrise. Sunrise. And again, watercolor on paper and very saturated, very precise technique. There's a detail and you can see how precise this technique is. It's just like photo real. Very nice. Two more paintings by Lawrence Yoon. This is large, maybe two feet by three feet. And very bold and saturated for watercolor on paper. Another large painting by Lawrence Yoon called Winter Garden. And there's a close-up of detail, and look at that precise technique in there. Just rendered perfectly with no flaws. It's a huge painting by Constance Mallinton called Olympia Decayed. And it's a takeoff on the famous painting Olympia by Manet. And here we can see some of the detail. It's all made like it's made out of bark and leaves and different textures. And the attendant is made out of flowers and wicker and who knows what else. Very nicely done. This is a huge painting by Constance Mallinson called Ruin. And it's like a carpet of leaves on the floor of the forest with various objects hidden in the leaves and you can't even see it. It must be 18 feet long. It's very big and we'll show you a detail of that. Here we can see a detail and that bolt just looks totally realistic but it's just flat painted in there. And then if you go through the painting, see there's lots of objects hidden in the painting, just like trash and leaves on the floor of the forest. And a little furry something of some animal scurrying under there. And some, an old Dunlop tennis ball. And things you don't even know, a branch. And then here's like a broken Easter egg. Eh, just kind of fun and whimsical. 
the things. There's a top of a water bottle and a piece of ceramic. And it just really artfully done with maybe a tube of paint there and some other debris on the floor of the forest. Very nicely done. Another really large painting by Constance Mallinson called Woods in Oil. Constance Mallinson. Just a bunch of trees with all the bark and all the details. Very nice. And here we can see some of the details. She really gets all that bark and everything right in there. So this is kind of a, a surreal painting, really. A realistic surreal, but arranged kind of like an abstract. So very nice. This painting by Marion Estes is called Sanctuary. It's kind of a surreal treatment on the nature theme. Another large painting by Marion Estes called Hot Zone. Kind of an abstract on a nature theme. This is actually made from fabric, photo transfers, and paint. So there's some kind of collage work in this painting also. There we can see the detail of some of the fabric pieces that have been put into that painting to make the finished piece. Another large painting by Marian Estes called Dia de los Muertos. Although there's no calaveras, there's no skulls in here. Uh, in English, that's Day of the Dead, which is a traditional holiday around November 2nd. Another large painting with fabric transfers by Marilyn Estes called Black Wave. Very dramatic. Another large painting with fabric transfers by Marion Estes called Collateral Damage. Collateral Damage. I think there might be some social commentary in this painting. But nice and bold. Large painting by Fatima Burns called Nest. And this series of paintings actually has a second painting like mounted on top of the canvas of the first painting. Real striking painting by Fatima Burns called Looking Down, Looking Down. And again, he has another canvas mounted on top of the background. There's a detail, we can really see the fine detail and the strong, bold colors. A large painting by Fatima Burns called Stripes. And there's barbed wire and birds and trees. There we can see the detail in that painting. Very detailed. A large oil on canvas called Enlightenment. A lot of detail in the trees. I like this one a lot. You can see the clearing way back in the background and then the canvas added on the front has a bird in it. We'll see those details. There you can see the clearing way back in the distance through all the trees. And then up here we have the second canvas added that has the bird in it. And that's Enlightenment. And this one by Fatima Burns is called Barcode. And it has the same themes of barbed wire and tree branches with the bird. And you can see the insert almost looks like a series of barcode. And the red color on the branch underneath the barcode, underneath the barbed wire. And there we can see the detail of the bird trapped in the barbed wire and the barcode. And the last large painting in this series is 
called Shattered Mask. Shattered Mask. With just the bare silhouette of a bird inserted into the picture. This is the most abstract of all of them, and it just has a lot of just blocks of color like that, just dabs of, of brush color. But from, and there's the shadow of the bird. But from a distance, you really don't notice. But it's really just kind of abstract in a lot of ways, close up. Works very nice, almost like stained glass. And this painting by Lisa Adams is called A Morass of Contradictions. And it's partly figurative and partly abstract. Kind of nice, bold colors. And this painting by Lisa Adams is called A Recondite World. And it almost looks like a shade structure out in the desert with a pinwheel that's a sun or a uh, windmill. So it's partly figurative and partly abstract, but it kind of all works together. And this one by Lisa Adams is called In Anticipation of Abherency. And again, partly figurative, partly abstract. And I get the feeling that this painter is argumentative or likes to debate. I wouldn't want to debate them. And this one by Lisa Adams is called Order of Entropy. And of course, entropy means disorder. So there is no order of entropy. Okay, here's the unnatural half of the show curated by Scott Canty, and these are the four featured artists, Lisa Adams, Fatima Burns, Marion Estes, and Constance Mallinson. Very nice. 